everybody hi welcome to Chrissy's beauty closet um I wanted to do a little chit chat get ready with me today so if you guys want to know how I got this look what I used to get this look then keep on watching all right so what I have done okay what you need to do is take a pencil here an eyebrow pencil and I have three here in front of me. I have the Wander Beauty, I have It Cosmetics, and I have the um, Estee Lauder one. And you're gonna wanna, okay, go like this. And that right there is the beginning of your brow. So for people who do not have brows and do not have stencils and need help starting your brows, as you see, the chemo has taken my brows. Um, and then you go to the end of your eye here, like the outer V, and that right there is where your arch should be. So you just make a little dot up there. So then you're making a little graph. And then here on the edge, you just turn it to like a little, maybe a little 90 degree angle here. And that's where your tail should be of your brow. So there we go my lashes are gone too guys i'm going to do a do-it-yourself eyelash thing but just bear with me here so we're five days out or six days out after the chemo um after my second round of this of this chemo of the new chemo so it took me a little less time this time to recover as as i was hoping it would and uh, let's just hope it just keeps going that way i have two more sessions of this one and then after that i have surgery and then after that i have radiation and then after that i have 12 months of, ke of chemo well, that, that's just it just sounds like a lot so we'll just get into that later as it comes but from there now you have your outline and you can just draw in basically where you want well you have your brow your your and there you go like you have your outline at the top here i this is a very very light pencil in case i mess up which i've known to do often so and then you just go underneath and you do the same thing Draw it out just lightly, because it's, it's just an outline for you to go on. It's just an outline. Well, for me, anyway, I use a pomade, so that makes this a little bit... I, I like pomades better. The pencil is just doing the outline for me, and I just wanted to pop that into this video so that I could show you guys how to graph out your eye when you do not have eyebrows to help guide you in the first place or graph out your eyebrows when you don't have eyebrows in the first place like because i realized like i used my eyebrows a lot as just my own guide you know and It was just my own guide, and it, um, when they're not there anymore, it, it can be a bit difficult to know where to uh, lay your lines at. Otherwise, you know, because they can, um, you don't want to walk around all day looking like you're like, huh? Huh? What'd you say? You, you don't want that. You don't want... And then from there, you just fill in your brows as normal, as you normally would. And that's how you work with that until your brows come back. Because, you know, they'll be back eventually. Just... It'll be a little while. It'll be about a year. About a year. No. 
I take that back because my doctor said at, um, my doctor said that when I start the last, the last 12 months of treatment, they don't have, um, the Keytruda doesn't have a side effect. That's what I, it does not have a side effect. And so, um, as far as me, my hair will grow back my hair will be back that last year of chemo i will have my hair i'll have my brows back i'll have everything back hopefully it'll be back and better than ever absolutely now, when I first was teaching myself how to do brows, I didn't think I would ever learn. That was the hardest thing I taught myself how to do in the makeup, makeup wise, was brows. It is the most difficult and tedious work ever. It took me a while to understand that eyebrows are sisters and not twins, and they're not going to ever be completely exactly the same. <laughs> Especially when you're dealing with more. Okay, here we go. So, now I have brows. Now I'm looking a little bit more like myself. And trust me, this one is not a little bit darker. It's just the way the light is coming into the window. But I will darken it up for video's sake a little bit. But now I'm almost smelling a little bit normal now because I have brows. <laughs> it's funny. No brows can make you feel. And I use the Brow Bar by Rima. Um, eyebrow pomade. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So put that up. That's done its job. I showed you guys with the pencils what to do. When you're learning how to do your makeup without, well, doing your eyebrows without a, without a map, without a map. And now, let me get my eyes ready for an eye look because I got this awesome palette in my boxy charm that I just want to play with. So, um, be right back. Okay, so now I have my. Um, Ace Butte on. I received this palette in my BoxyCharm box. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. It's called Violet Sage by Ace Butte. She has not been touched yet. Look at her. She's so beautiful, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't even know what to do with it. And I don't even know if I'm gonna do a full face of makeup. I might just do like the eyes and I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. But anyway, I'm very excited about this palette. Like so excited. Look at that. I haven't even swatched it. I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm in, I love, okay. Um, I have no palettes like this at all. Like, not at all, which is absolutely, I have a lot of palettes. I am, um, 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 I want to play with as many colors as I can. So I'm just going to start with, let's put, Um, umber, or maybe hydrangea, hydrangea, how do you say that? Anyway, we're going to put, are we going to do that? We're going to do green and pink today. It's green and pink. That's pretty. Well, we're going to go into juniper. Okay. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to do something cute. 
What does... Oh! Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's a lot of pigment all at once. Didn't expect it. Should've known. I'm dealing with the Ace Butte palette. Oh man. I laid a lot down at once, didn't I guys? That is so pretty. I don't have a sage green in any of my palettes. Not, not one. Like not one. I think this is an awesome, um, awesome idea. So let's see. Now that we have our sage down for the most part. That is gorgeous. That's very, 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 very beautiful. Very pigmented. Kind of hit me hard with the pigment. Didn't expect it in the beginning. Like I said, don't know why I didn't. It's an Ace Butte palette. Now, if you have wrinkly eyelids like mine and they're hooded, it's better if you pat it out instead of dragging it because you'll get those lines that are not easiest to get rid of. So just saying, just pat it out. If you have a good enough, if it's a good formula, it'll blend out just with the patting process. All right, yes, that's beautiful. That green is so pretty. Yes, 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 and yes, more yeses. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna go into I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna get this light green here. I'm very curious to see what color it pops out as. Okay. Oh, okay. So she shows up, doesn't she? That's very, very pretty. If you guys hear people, they're outside. I apologize. All right, I'm liking this. All right, so I've used two shades out of this palette <laughs> so far, and I'm in love. First of all, these greens are outstanding. Like literally outstanding. I can hear my heart beating in my head. That's how bad my head is. Starting to mess with me. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, I want, I want this pink, this baby pink here. I just want to see how, okay because I'm going to use the pink shimmer regardless. So I just want to see how well does she show up. Oh, she, it almost looks white. That looks really pretty. I wonder if it looks the same to you guys as it does to me. Oh, that pink is really pretty. It's really baby pink, though. Like, really baby pink. But that's okay. Because the shimmer is gonna... 
consumer is going to take care of all that. And that little nose is always just blurred and it makes me so mad. Okay. That's, that's pretty. I like it. I like that a lot. All right. Now, which of these pinks are we going to go into? Both of them, you say? All right. Sounds like a plan. We're going to dip into both of those pinks. And okay, did not get what I wanted to get out of that at all. Can you guys even see that? Hold on a minute. Did I do something wrong? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Maybe. Maybe I just got to use my finger. Sometimes these just need the, uh, but my fingers and my hooded eyes. All right, here we go. Let's see if that works. That worked. It always works. Fingers always work. I don't know what it is. I think it's the oil, the moisture of the finger. I'm not sure. The skin. I don't know what it is, but it, it always tends to work beautifully. Beautiful. All right, now let's use some of this pink and buff it out a little bit around these edges here. All right, amp, amp, amp. I really like this. I really like this palette, guys. Like a lot, a lot. Blind out the edges. Make sure you don't get no harsh edges. Nobody wants no harsh edges. All right. That looks very pretty. I am. I used this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So I used five shades. So I still have the deep shades to use, which I'm going to have to... Did y'all even see that? I'm sitting there pointing. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Those five I used. These five I have left to use. So we're going to do like a deep nighttime going out type look with those other shades when I use them. But, for now, I think that turned out pretty nicely. Now, let me finish it up. Yeah, let me finish it up real quick. I'll be right back. Holy sh okay, so, this is my final look. I hope you guys like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love it. I'm so mad I don't have any eyelashes right now but when I do get my eyelashes that's gonna add so much flair to the looks but um this is the look my pink and green I don't think I've ever done a pink and green on here so I hope you guys like it I hope you guys enjoy it I went light on the makeup today I didn't go like super heavy glam or anything like that um yeah I like it I, and like I said, I hope you guys like it too. I hope you guys enjoyed the little time we have spent together. Um, and I will try, like I said, I never know how the chemo is going to hit me or what life's going to hit you with. So I will try to be on here as much as possible because it does make me feel better when I'm on here. I'm not thinking about everything else. You know, it's just like my own little 
my own little time and space away from reality, you know. So, but here we go back to it. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't pay attention to the mess in the background because, like I said, my block it. My um, energy has. <laughs> I have to choose where I'm going to use my energy. So if I'm going to clean big areas and stuff like that, then there's no way I'm recording. But um, I love spending time with you guys. Like I said, I loved using this palette. This is a beautiful palette. Um, this Ace Butte Violet uh, Sage palette. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I got this in my BoxyCharm too. It's Avant. It's the um, Shea Butter Hyaluronic Vitamin B3 Seawater Sweet Almond Deluxe <laughs> Face and Eye Night Cream. Okay. And I used this uh, just a few times and I'm in love with it. I love it. it. It smells so good and it made my skin so soft. Like so 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 soft uh, and I, I just I, I love it I love it I fell in love with it just immediately what else came in my box a charm box um what what um oh okay I got another one of these which I'm not mad about um they let me know that they were they I had a double um, cause they had given me this one like a few months back, but I dropped it and it broke as you see. So, and I love this one. It's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. So when they said that they had, um, accidentally, you know, gave me something that they had given me in the past already. Um, and then I seen what it was like, I'm like, I ain't mad about that. Thank you. Oh, I got those, these brushes from cosmetic these um um their facial skincare brushes this one is by the anyway this one is supposed to be but to me i feel like i could it could really buff in the um foundation i'm not sure though because it's a little it's a lot dense like very dense so i don't know but um i will use these because i use masks Quite often, especially now with the way my skin is changing from the chemo. So that's nice. Um, that's one, two, three. I got some supplemental drops as well from them. And um, that's about it in my box, I think. Anyway, we'll talk about it later. I'm getting tired and I'm going to start forgetting stuff. Uh. <laughs> All right, so... Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys like the final look. Um, and don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that you're notified of all my videos when they upload. And I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.